What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Furta Fishing. Before we get into any fishing today, earlier today I actually fixed the guide tip of this Abu Garcia Black Max. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now uh, how I did that. All right guys, so before we get to fishing, we'll show you how to replace the eye insert on the tip of your rod. This is something that is super easy and a really, really good skill to have as an angler. Things that you're going to need for the eyelet insert replacement is a lighter, as well as a pack of guide tips uh, and super glue. Now this is a Berkeley uh, guide tip repair kit. I got this for $3 at Ace Hardware. Uh, and it's super convenient, super, uh, I guess we're gonna see the quality of it later, but uh, it's nice because it comes in combination with a hot glue stick and the guide tips that we're gonna need later in the video. We're also gonna need a knife uh, or pliers of some sort uh, to do some cutting and manipulating of the rod. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is take your lighter and you're gonna go ahead and heat up this glue that is holding your rod tip on. You're gonna to wanna to move your rod around as you're doing this so that you don't start burning anything. All right, so I'm gonna heat this up one last time. I've kinda of just been working it. And let's see if they'll come up. There it is. Your eyelet is now separated. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package here. Cool. So now what I have is I have three different sizes of guide tips. What I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to take the rod and I'm going to slide these guide tips on. That one seems too big. That one's a little bit better of a fit. I think the small one might be the way to go. Yeah, that is the best fit right there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set these other two guide tips off to the side and we're really going to focus on the one. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is take my hot glue that I had in the package and I'm going to heat up the end of it here. Uh, if you guys have a hot glue gun or some sort of pretty strong super glue, something like that, all of this can work, but uh, I don't have any of that. heat this up nice and good get it liquefied I'm just gonna rub this all over the end of your rod all right so we have it there so now what we're going to do is go ahead and slide our guideline onto the edge it's a pretty tight fit on this one all right, and make sure you line it up with the rest of your eyelets on your rod. And then once you do that, you just let it sit. So the rod has been sitting for a few minutes now and it should be all solidified. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the knife I have here and I'm just gonna cut off this excess glue that we have still stuck on here. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is feel the top of the rod here and feel around to see if there's anything that could potentially be sharp or uh, break your line. So what I mean is where the actual guide tip meets the rod. Uh, sometimes you'll get some kind of sharp pieces of that glue that used to be there or rod that uh, could potentially cut your line. So in this case, we didn't actually have any of that, but if you guys did, a uh, really easy fix for that would just be to sand it down uh, using some sandpaper. After all these steps are complete, your guide tip is fixed. One thing I didn't mention beforehand was I actually took all of the line and the entire reel off of this rod just to make it easier for the entire process, make it a little bit more maneuverable. And of course, if you're taking your uh, guide tip off, you don't want line threaded through any of that. Hopefully you guys thought this was helpful. Let me know if you want more tutorials and tips like this uh, down below, and let's go ahead and get to some fishing. All right, and that is how you replace the guide tip, eyelet, whatever you want to call it, um, in your rod. So now that we've fixed it, 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a few casts and test it out. The waters look super, super good today, and I really, really, really want to try to hit some maybe top water. Um, but I'm gonna give the old uh, medium heavy a few casts uh, with the Texas rig, and then we'll swap up to some other stuff. Let's rip some lips, boys. All right, so like what I said, I am throwing a Texas rig on this medium heavy Black Max. Now this actually is not my combo. It's a combo that one of my friends is letting me borrow. But I fixed the guide tip in it. So we are going to give it a few casts, see if we can't catch anything. And uh, I'm probably going to... I really want to catch something with this Texas rig, uh, but I've got the frog hooked up and I've also got a whopper plopper hooked up. Both of those have been doing really good lately. Go ahead and move down a little bit, start going down this little bank here. Alright guys, the Texas rig is not getting any bites right now, but what is important is that that tip is holding up for now. Uh, so I'd say that we're successful so far. I want to go ahead and bring out the old pop and perch. This color is white shadow. Uh, it's a really, really, really interesting, cool color. When you're going to cast, do not uh, cast into the top of the uh, gazebo you're standing behind. That is how you get backlashes. All right, um, I'm going to start moving down the shore a little bit, down the bank, what I mean. Quite a lot of bass that are guarding their their fry right now. All right, I'm just uh, hopping the old perch, probably like a foot and a half, two feet, maybe three feet off the bank. And this is where I've actually gotten hit a couple times in this area right here on top water. Never had a full commit. But there's definitely been activity. And with lots of activity, eventually you'll find one that hits it. One eternity later. There we go. Nice. I think that's a decent fish for this pond. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's a big bass. That is a big one. That might be the biggest one I've caught out of this pond. Look at that guy. Jeez. I'm gonna get a weight on this thing. All right, guys, that is one pound. Let's see, what are you gonna set at? One pound, 1.85 pounds. All right, guys, I was getting ready to pack up and I ended up getting this guy. He is almost a two pounder, uh, which is actually really, really decent for this pond. So, sweet, I'm gonna throw him back now. Heck yeah. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it right there. Uh, I ended up catching that one fish and we were able to make sure that the new eyelet on the medium heavy that I fixed works. Um, as I can tell, it hasn't budged, it hasn't done anything, so um, mission accomplished there. And we also caught a fish. 
If you're new to the channel, go ahead and like this video and subscribe down below and you'll be entered into a chance to win a Mondo kit. But I'll tell you more about that right at the end of the video. Um, like always, if you guys have any prayer requests or anything like that, let me know uh, down in the comments and I will say a prayer for you. Thanks again for watching Fur to Fishing. I will see you next time.